that I'm going to show you a shot of. Failed banks may get pension fund backing as FDI seeks cash. Folks, you've all got to Google or search engine or smartpage.com this article and read it. It says to prop it up. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corps is trying to encourage public retirement funds that control more than $2 trillion to buy all or part of failed lenders. Did you hear that? They want to invest your pension that's already invested in the stock market and down by 40% in many cases in failed lenders taking a more direct role in propping up the banking system. It's not propping them up. They're stealing your money out one door. Okay? Here's another one. This is out of Business Week. Healthcare overhaul adds millions of U.S. customers. Talks about how the big four insurance companies wrote it and are getting all this money and power out of it. Here's another one. CNBC. Healthcare stocks to outperform in the coming months because this is good for them. Here's Kucinich before he flip-flops saying it's a bailout for the insurance companies. You see, if the Republicans... I hear Limbaugh every time I tune in and say how good the insurance companies, how great they are. They're a barrel of snakes at the top, not your little local ones. They're a barrel of snakes. I saw an article where one owner of an insurance company made over a billion dollars last year, and that's fine if they did it through free market, but they're doing it because through Medicare and Medicaid and all the government payments. It was like Frisk in the Senate and all that money he made off of government contracts. That's why this happened. That's why this got passed. But I get back to the good news. 38 states are saying they're going to try to block it. We have to make sure the states pass laws to nullify it. Just like this Reuters article, U.S. states sue EPA to stop greenhouse gas tax rules. There's no law. The bureaucrats are just doing it. So the people are saying no. All right, continuing on through these points here. Another key point is this comparative medicine term. That's the death panels. That's the bioethicist boards. That's Tom Daschle, the original author, writing that you have a duty to die. That's for people that are paying for insurance and could afford insurance. They're going to lower your overall care for their profits and then pass some of that on to the illegal aliens and others that were marching and were called darlings by the media over the weekend uh, to see, we have foreigners in our country telling us to give them more free goodies. You have how this was planned, how this was rammed through. In some cases, billions of dollars of pork barrel to certain districts and sweetheart deals to get votes. You have the fact that this is so unconstitutional for the government to order you uh, to buy something. You have that some unions and government unions are exempt from the Cadillac uh, tax of 40 plus percent on people that have premium insurance. Total discrimination. And you have the key point that the Republicans have sold us out and supported unconstitutional measures in the past and are guilty of, of, of helping the Democrats set this precedent. You can't have undeclared wars. You can't have the Patriot Act. You can't have torture. You can't have secret arrest. You can't have Northcom. You can't have warrantless wiretapping. All of that is just as egregious and, and illegal as this health care bill. You can't pick and choose what part of the Bill of Rights and Constitution you like. I hear all these idiots saying the Constitution's failed. No, we failed enforcing it, and we need to look in the mirror and realize it's we the people that take a lot of the blame in all of this. The establishment is crowing and bragging on the news that they think you're going to forget about this because this is phased in from 2013 to 2018, and they are bragging that they're going to incrementally do it and that you're going to forget about it and that your anger is going to dissipate. The key is you can't let that happen. You have to make this the establishment's water loo. Remember how they promised us NAFTA and GAFTA, uh, NAFTA and GAT, the SHAFTA, we're going to help us. We're going to be great. Look at our cities collapsing. Look at Detroit with over 50% unemployment. Look at how it's destroyed our nation's industrial base. They promised us then that the service industry would be the savior. That's now contracting. The real unemployment is 22%. So first, they destroy your industrial base, take your jobs, 
And then they bankrupt the states with more and more unfunded mandates. Then the people become so poor they've got to have the free health care. They rob whoever else has got a job left. This is about conquering society. This is about domesticating you. This is about breaking your will. And they know what they're doing because the banks get their power when the society goes bankrupt. And once they've got more than half the public with a government job or on government payroll and some kind of government check. I know they took your money to pay for it. I know a lot of you paid into Social Security. I'm not saying you don't deserve something. The point is they make you dependents, and then they use you and the illegal aliens they brought in as a political weapon against the republic. And in the end, they're going to take all the chicken feet away from you, as they've done in every other nation. So this is a slow roast that we're witnessing. This is incremental slavery. But it is an eye-opener to show the people that it's unconstitutional, it's illegal, it's unpopular, but still they did it. So the number one thing is to commit yourself with cold determination to go to city council, to go to the state houses, to run for office, to support good candidates, and to demand your city stop having sanctuary cities and, and, and discriminating against citizens and letting the illegal aliens drunk drive and not have IDs, but citizens get the book thrown at them, and to make the cities take the fluoride out of the water. It's a, every poll shows the people want that. Why doesn't it happen? We don't care if you say it's good. We know it's poison. We have to get angry and take our government back. I don't care if you have to start following city council people around as investigative reporters, start your own blog, and videotape them with hookers or taking bribes. People in government that are selling their country out at the, at, at the mid-level and high levels are all corrupt. You start surveilling them. You start putting it on YouTube. They will fall. All right, I'm going to look over all my notes. There's so much I haven't even gotten to yet. And we'll take a few final phone calls, too, in the final segment. And I want to go back to what Obama tried last year with health care to give you an idea of their mindset. Remember, he wanted to take veterans' health care away. Remember that? The websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. I've got two new films premiering in the month of April at PrisonPlanet.tv.